Well, Dragon, you tell tell her that you can handle your own business. Your mom shouldn't be getting stressed out over this. You're yelling halfway across the house to me. Your mom doesn't need to be getting involved in this, Jeffrey. I'm just saying, you know, she she needs a rest. She's sick. She's Don't not feeling you. good. I didn't involve her, you did. Uh, no, I didn't. You called here. Yeah, I called here to tell to tell her that you were acting out and to, you know, let you cool down. But I didn't involve her because you told her something completely different. You brought up Loki. No. I never brought up Gary. I just said that you were having a fit on a game. You told no. both me you you told both me and her that Loki said some stuff to you and told you put some ideas in your head. And when I tried to get you to retell me that today, you can't remember what he said. So, yeah, you brought that up. <laughs> Did he mute me again? Ah, Dragon, I can't keep re-adding them. This is getting too out of control. Oh, well, I just told him, you know, he, he brought his mom into this. I didn't, yeah, that's we, all. You know, they me, you know what, well, Jeffrey doesn't... I'm, I'm going, I'm going to be in for this real quick. Honestly, dude, I know, I really do, that, like, if you, if you want to help him and everything, but if he's going to be as sick as a person goes right now, And like two or three days, he's gonna be crawling back to you and begging for forgiveness. And honestly, I think it's time for you to say no. If the mom's not going to learn her place, and if Jeffrey's not going to know where his place is, then he's just gonna stay like this. Yeah, you got a valid point there. And the and the worst thing is, I think Dragon made the whole thing up because. He told me a bunch of stuff that Gary supposedly told him last night. When I talked to Gary, he stated that it wasn't true. So when I tried to get Dragon into the party, which he said he would tell me exactly what Gary told him in a party, he would join and tell me. He told me that yesterday when I told him that Loki wanted to talk to us. Today comes around and suddenly he refuses to join the party. So I tell him, all right, you don't want to be a party with Gary. I understand that. Just tell me what you told me in messages. You know, send me the messages. Because he told me that Loki was putting ideas in his head and Loki told him this and that. Now he claims he can't remember at all what Loki told him. That he blocked it out. Which I'm thinking it's all a pile of bullshit. I don't think Loki told him anything. I think he... I think, I think he just got mad, went off on me, and used Loki as an excuse to, you know, get me back on his friends list. Instead of owning up to what he had done. And even if Loki had done something, he should have told me beforehand. Even if he's not making it up, he still should have told me beforehand. He knows better than to trust what Gary tells him. Because, you know, Gary likes to play around with Jeffrey. He likes to mess with Jeffrey. Because Jeffrey's easy to mess with. Hell, I mess with Jeffrey sometimes. It's for the hell of it. You know, it's not... You know, it, Jeffrey should know better. Yeah, so, you know, Jeffrey should know better. So, I honestly think that this was just a scheme of Jeffrey's to get me to remove Gary. That's all I'm starting to think this is all is. All right, I'll join you. I'll play. <sighs> Is everyone else here, by the way? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. I already sent Dragon one last message. Dragon, I'm giving you one last offer here, and do not make the mistake of ignoring or blocking this message because we can let bicons be bicons right now. We can drop this and move on. You can forgive Gary or forget him, but if you do not, our friendship is over. Well, I didn't get all of that in the message, but yeah.
if you or your mom continue to drag this out, then I will break our friendship up right now. Because I cannot take your word for what you told me because you don't even remember what you told me last night. And I cannot take what Gary told me seriously because, you know what, I wasn't there and I don't know what he supposedly said to you. And now you can't even remember what he po supposedly said to you. So, you know what, I chose to drop it. You didn't. The only person fighting is you. Me and Loki are not fighting. You know, we're done. We've dropped it. You haven't. I can't talk to your mom because you won't listen to me. She won't listen to what I'm trying to tell her. So, you know what? Our friendship is done. Actually, she won't help me tell me to kick her. And it pains me to say this, but you were the cause of, you know, your own defeat. You destroyed our friendship because of your self, your selflessness. God, I know I said that wrong. <laughs> Stuttered my fucking words there. So let me rephrase that. What I'm trying to say to you, Dragon, is that if you had just dropped this, we'd still be friends. I can't be friends with somebody who constantly causes conflict and chaos. Yes, Loki's not perfect and he makes his mistakes, but you know what? No, no, he left. But you know what, if we can forgive you for every little thing you do, then why can't we forgive Loki for what he does? If I can forgive you, why can't, why can't I forgive him? That's not fair, and I cannot have you around if you can't be fair. What, is this because my kill death ratio was like 21 at 9? So, Jeffrey. So, Jeffrey, my final words to you are goodbye. It was nice knowing you. If you decide to come back and re-add me, I will not accept your friend request this time. I may forgive you, but I will not accept your friend request. Alright, yeah. <sighs> what? Yeah, I recorded the whole thing because I knew things were about to go down. Yeah. I was regarding. I. I could do the same thing, but I don't. I can deal with that. Well, here's why I forgave Loki, and I was trying to explain this to Ada and them, but they weren't listening. I forgave Loki because when I talked to Loki, we talked it out. There was no fighting, arguing, name calling. You know, Loki was calm. He explained to me what had happened. And then when I asked Dragon to explain his side of the story and to tell me what he told me last night, he couldn't because he couldn't remember. And that indicated that he had made it up or either that he did block it out, which Dragon can often do. So I told Dragon, all right, well, if you can't, you know, remember, then me and Gary are going to work this out. And then I worked things out with Gary and decided to let bygones be bygones. So me and Gary made up. Dragon wasn't happy about that, and thus this whole situation happened. So if Dragon can't accept my choice, then he doesn't need to be my friend, because I don't need friends like him creating all this chaos and nonsense drama. Yeah, plain and simple. Well, who you choose, whoever you choose to be your friend, that's your business, that's none of his. So if you don't like it, you don't have to have him on his friends list. However, if you choose to, that's your business. Well, 